What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. This video is gonna be a little bit different, but it's something that a lot of you have asked for in some sort of context. Many of you know that I do music. You've seen videos like the AI one where I did some self-producing and some audio mixing for myself here at home. And so I wanted to walk you through my new song stories and just kind of show you my process for when I produce or write a song. So if you're interested in that, stick around. And if you're interested in it, maybe go subscribe to my other channel entry media that's where i am showing people very 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 budgeted ways to create content at home whether that's for your church or whether that's for just making youtube stuff like i am so as you can see this is a few layers going on but uh let's start with the top one which was i just had this piano riff in mind and i started playing it and this is how the whole thing just started, right? Like it, it was just a very simple little riff. And then I just cut it and I looped it again. <laughs> so I knew I wanted some kind of ambient noise. So at that point I decided to go ahead and record some, some birds chirping and some outdoor wind noises and just put it in the background. It's very peaceful, very serene. And so at that point, you have the piano playing. It's very simple, nothing crazy at all. Now, this is where things started to get a little complicated because I knew that I wanted something happening with the guitar that was fascinating and would catch the attention. But I was kind of sick of normal tuning on a guitar. So I tuned my acoustic to what we call dadgad tuning, which is D-A-D. GAD as opposed to the standard tuning and uh, what I did was I played the guitar part right here I believe very straightforward not a ton of processing happening on this guitar at all however when the vocals came in, I felt like I wanted to bring a little bit more stereo sound to it. So that main guitar is panned a little bit more to the right. And I then brought in one on the left that was picked as opposed to finger picked. So together, they sounded like this. Just slight variations between the two so you can feel like there's some space happening. So with the ambience and with the guitar and with the piano, it sounds like this at the start. I decided to bring in some more kind of interesting sounds and samples and things like that. So I ended up using this patch called Scrapes and Clicks. And that sounds like this underneath everything. Kind of like trees creaking and moaning. That's what I was picturing a little bit. And then with that though, I had another piano that was a little busier. One more extra synth there. Palm muted guitar instead. So at that point, I kind of brought in the cajon sounds with everything else. And those sounded like this with a tambourine. Kind of sparse a little bit different than a normal drum set rhythm that you might find otherwise and then of course had to bring in some bass to hold down the fort i love playing bass Now the vocals are where I decided to try something a little bit different. I like the sound of things like Novo Amor or even Bon Iver with when he starts singing more falsetto. Let's do this as a falsetto led song, but instead let's start it low and then like hit everybody in the face. When it came to the writing of the lyrics, you know, I knew that I wanted a concept of this album to be about 
the stories that we've seen in scripture or the stories of people that were affected by scripture. And so this song, I wanted to set the tone for the project thinking was, okay, this is kind of nature themed. We're talking about stories. What if we start saying these stories are like worn out paths? And so I started low and I started by double tracking, which means I put in the right ear, one vocal. All of these paths go. Then I sang it a second time and it sounded like this, double tracked. Put it in the other ear a little bit more. All of these paths go winding down roads well worn out. On both of those vocals, we've got a few things happening. Well, actually, it's pretty standard. You know, you've got a, a kind of rough EQ right here, and then we've got another EQ to cut some of that weird mud out. And then I went with a chroma reverb that's just a stock Logic plug-in. That, that's what's applied to both of those. And then I started bringing in the falsetto a little bit, layered in unison as well, but um, in a little bit more the left and the right. So here we go. I'm finding myself in. We have this nice kind of Beatles style hum. Three more harmonies, and this is what these sounded like with it. Mm. And then all of this hits. All of these stories. Breakdown of that, once again, we've got two main vocals right here. We've got two falsetto vocals right here. We've got one more falsetto vocal that is dead center. Since it is now taking the lead, I needed it to stick out a little bit, so that's three. And then at that point, I brought in two, I brought in two harmonies. Of ups and downs. You combine all of that, and you end up with this right here. Once all of that is done, I then export every single track and I export every track's effects separately into folders. And it's kind of mixed at a base level, but I'm just not that good at hearing things like mastering and a final, final mix. So I'm more of a producer and a writer than anything. So then at that point, I send it to my friend Spencer Annis, who runs Honeyverb Studios. He makes it sound like it needs to sound for Spotify. If you've never done a mix and master situation and you're producing at home, it's well worth it. If you enjoy producing, keep producing, keep writing, but send it off to somebody to get it to the right volume and the right sound that it needs to kind of stick out on streaming. So that's it. That's all I've got for you. This was how I came up with and produced the song Stories. I hope that it was helpful. I hope that you found it enjoyable maybe if you were just curious about it the entire album is out right now it's called stories please stream it please send it to a friend it means a lot to me this channel has meant a lot to me and so i just appreciate everyone letting me have fun and be creative all right that's it for this video go subscribe to the new entry media page and i'll see you in the next video here as well